Software security is a very important topic, and we, as developers, have to know how to encrypt and how to decrypt text using security algorithms. One famous algorithm is the Advanced Encryptation Standard, the AES. This algorithm is based in the symmetric technique. It means it uses the same key for cipher and for decryptate the message after it's encrypted. So, let's see today how to use the Java programming language to use the AES algorithm. It's native, it's not necessary any additional library. It's all supported by the standard programming language. Okay, so basically we need to utilize this algorithm to find a few variables. One of them is this initialization vector, which is just a basis for the algorithm that knows the size of the blocks that it's going to cipher. So we can initialize that with any value. And then we need to have a key. And the AES works just with three possible sizes of the key. But the sizes are very, have a, an, an off size for provide a good security. Or it is with 128 bytes, or with 192 bytes, or with 256 bytes. So the three possible sizes are allowed. We can change here for the key one, two, and you can use any kind of key you, you would like to. The, the important thing is it has to have exactly this size. Okay, and how to encrypt messages? Basically, we have one original content, could be any content, because not be necessary one string. We could want to cipher one file independently of its content. And we need to inform the key we are going to cipher this content. So we can get from the Cypher class the instance of the AES implementation we are going to use. And then with this Cypher object, we can transform the text key we have defined to one secret key object. And with this, this key, we can then call the encrypt object to make the message encrypted. So here, after executing the do final method, we will have the, the encrypted text as the output of this encrypted function. Once the content is encrypted, we can, in another moment, when it has to be read again, decrypt this message. So how to do that? It's a very similar function. We get exactly the same algorithm. So please observe that that's in the encrypt function, we have this line to get the AES implementation. And it's exactly the same line we have here to get the AES implementation when we are going to decrypt, decrypt our message. So here, again, exactly the same, the same code. We are taking our key that is the same key as before because we are utilizing one symmetric um, algorithm for making this encryptation. And we saw here we have the object key. And now we call also the same line of code. The difference is the mode. Here we are using the AES algorithm for encrypt messages. And here we are using that for decrypt message. So this is the only change between the two functions, the function that, that makes the encryptation and the functions that make the decryptation. And with this do final, it transforms the original con the encrypted content again in the original content, okay, as the return output of this function. So this function receives as input and output array bytes because the idea is it's not work just with textual information but with any kind of information. So in here we can, can make one experiment. Let's utilize this method to understand if it really works. So here we have one plain text information, and we are going to cipher that. So we will call the encrypt method with the original text. It's a, it's a string, but we convert that to a byte array. 
we pass the key, we have the file, and then we, we have the encrypted content. We can hear just for, we have a visual representation of this content in the screen. We are going to print that in this manner as a string in user interface. And then we are going to decrypt this message again. We are going to inform the encrypted text and again, the same key because we are using a symmetric algorithm. And then here we are going to have the decrypted text. Okay, let's run this code. Let me clear here my output and let's run this code and analyze that together. You see here we have the we have the original text, we have the encrypted text that is a numeric information because they are bytes, so the bytes can be handled as numbers. So here is the ciphered text, and here we revert, make the way back from this encrypted text, we make again the original text available. And do you can observe that this can work with different key size. Let's take a look here. Let's not use one key with 192 bytes, but a bigger key for because we want more security. A key with 256 bytes. Let's see how it will behave. Let me click here again and let's execute. And here again, we make the, the original text in a cipher manner and we make it decrypted after applying the algorithm again using the same key. If you would like to use this algorithm, it's available on GitHub. You can find the link um, below in the comments. And thanks for watching.